Hi there, my name is Robin Walsh and I'm a naturopathic doctor here at Vibrant Living. I just thought I'd take a couple of minutes and talk a little bit about thyroid and how naturopathic medicine can help to support those patients that are struggling um, with their thyroid. So we see time and time again that um, patients will come in and say, you know, my blood work's always negative or, but, or normal, but I, I feel like I have all of these thyroid symptoms um, and I'm not really understanding sort of what's happening with that. Um, so what we typically do um, in those situations if patients are struggling with thyroid symptoms, and I guess I should start with what those could include. So patients that are obviously fatigued, have a hard trouble gaining or losing weight, um, dry hair, dry nails, constipation, uh, anxiety or depression. PMS can be related into that, just feeling cold or cold intolerance all the time. So those are some of the main symptoms that we look at when assessing whether or not the thyroid is functioning optimally. Um, and then most of the time with those types of patients, if we're questioning whether or not there is an issue with thyroid, would be to run something called a thyroid panel. So that looks at something called your TSH, which is the hormone that comes out of your brain to tell your thyroid what to do. Um, and then looking at T4, which is the, thi the hormone that comes uh, mainly out of your thyroid. There's also something called T3 and reverse T3, and those are sort of active and inactive thyroid hormones. So your T3 is a hormone that is um, probably the most active thyroid hormone it, it causes you to feel sort of all of the thyroid symptoms or none depending on where it's balanced and that T4 is typically converted into T3 or it can be converted into something called reverse T3 and reverse T3 is this sort of inactive thyroid hormone so I kind of describe it as the, the gas or the brakes and this looks really at metabolic function so sometimes when you go in and, and you explain to your doctor and they run TSH which is the hormone coming out of your brain it tends to be normal but what's actually getting produced in the tissues in terms of active or inactive thyroid hormone can be a little bit altered so we typically have a fuller look at this thyroid and see whether or not there can be supports to optimize this function. What are things that kind of can uh, reduce the amount of active thyroid hormone or T3 that's produced? Well, stress is definitely one of them. So stress favors the production of reverse T3. Um, and that's uh, sort of kind of a primitive function. So stress fundamentally from an evolutionary perspective usually means famine. And famine means we should kind of down-regulate this metabolism. So it puts the brakes on metabolism to make sure that that metabolism slows down and you can survive. We don't have that evolutionary stress anymore, but we do fundamentally have a lot of stress in our lives um, and stress can sometimes especially since I work in a much more uh, of a weight loss perspective uh, a lot of times stress for people can actually be over exercising so they're exercising too much or maybe they're calorically restricting and to their brain or to their bodies that sort of responds as stress so then they start to produce more of this inactive hormone and less of this T3, this active hormone. And T3 is really what mobilizes fat out of the cell. So these patients tend to feel like they're very hypothyroid and they're having all of these thyroid symptoms. Um, and they're also not being able to lose as much weight. And a lot of times that can be a really great and big signal um, to rebalancing that system. The other thing I really like to look at is thyroid antibodies. Um, and thyroid antibodies is basically sort of that immune system's attack kind of on that thyroid. And a lot of times those antibodies can be elevated many years before that thyroid um, sort of ever becomes altered or thyroid function, I should say. And so there's a lot of naturopathic ways that we can sort of help to manage those thyroid antibodies um, and get that, that system back on track. So I uh, just thought I'd send a quick video. If you have any questions about thyroid or would like to hear more information, please email me or come on in for an appointment. Thanks so much.